We pick up today in Acts chapter 26, verses 19 through 23. Paul has given his testimony, and now he explains to King Agrippa that what he has done is not disobedient to the heavenly vision, as we learn from verse 19, but that he has done just what he was commanded by Jesus. He first declared the gospel to those in Damascus, Jerusalem, and throughout all Judea, which is the Jews first, and then to the Gentiles. He preached repentance, and in turning to God, that one's actions should be reflective of the repentance. Paul says that it is for these reasons that the Jews seized him and have tried to kill him. Paul proclaims to King Agrippa and all those in attendance in the auditorium that the only reason that he is still alive is because God has protected him. That he stands here today proclaiming the gospel in accordance with the teachings of Moses and the prophets. And that is it is, as we read in Acts 26, 23, that the Christ would suffer, that he would be the first to rise from the dead and would proclaim light to the Jewish people and to the Gentiles. This is an example of standing on the promises of God. This is an example of taking action on our calling in Christ Jesus. And this is an example of works befitting repentance. The Apostle Paul was called in dramatic fashion on the road to Damascus while his intentions were not in line with God's plan for his life. However, he saw the light. He saw the light of Christ Jesus, and it changed his life. He turned, or as we would say, repented, and changed the direction of his life to God and away from the sinful nature that had such a grip on his, his life. He was saved. Saved by Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, sent for this very reason for each and every one of us, you and me, that we too would see the light and turn from the darkness and live a new life in Christ Jesus, not because we have done anything deserving, but because we know from Romans 3.23 that we are all sinful and fall short of God's glory but that Jesus invites us to share in his purity and glory if we will believe, believe in him. Dear Lord, Paul has given his testimony in defense of his physical life, but through his faith in Jesus, we know that his spiritual life is secure because his faith and belief is in Jesus and his actions are proof of his faith. He spent the rest of his life sharing the gospel that others too would come to Christ Jesus and begin a new life of repentance and forgiveness and eternal life in him. I pray for all today who are struggling with the decision to accept Jesus and open their hearts to him. Please give them strength and support from their Christian brothers and sisters to stand strong with open hearts to Jesus and begin a new life with Jesus, for there is no greater thing in which they will ever do than to open their hearts to Him. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.